G'day everyone, Artist Wayne here, and it's raining outside so I thought it would be a great opportunity to do a little painting tutorial. And today this one's digital, I'm using Photoshop. I have a black background which I've just made a copy of, and I'm adding a gradient layer. And the beauty of Photoshop is it gives you the ability to absolutely tweak everything. And because I want to create water as a background for my shark, I'll need some light at the top and dark at the bottom. And then over that, I can paint sunlight penetrating the surface of the water. This whole image is going to be black and white. Now this should be the quickest way for me to create water. Because Photoshop is all about speed. I don't want to take hours and hours and hours creating art. That's why digital is so great. It's a very quick and fluid process. Great for conceptual art. And throughout this whole painting, I'm only going to use one brush, which is brush number 29 in the dry media brushes. And it's the only brush I ever use because the size of the brush can be varied and the opacity of the brush can be varied. And that makes painting things very simple and easy because you can paint different layers very, very quickly. So on the top layer of my water, I'm going to add black to make it look like sunlight penetrating the surface. And at the bottom, I'll use a very opaque white and do the same. Now we don't want to spend too much time on the background because the focus is going to be on the shark. And not just any shark, I'm going to paint a great white shark. So the only thing left now is to add some noise because water's full of speckles and debris. So in the filter drop down, I'm going to add dust and scratches and some noise. Once the water's finished, I'm going to create a transparent layer that I'll paint the shark on. That way, if I make any mistakes in the shark drawing, I can easily erase it without affecting the background. This makes drawing so much easier, and it gives you the ability to change and manipulate, erase, stretch, cut and paste. Basically, Photoshop can do anything. And there's no limit to how many layers you can create. Just remember it's always a good idea to use a paintbrush that's fairly opaque. It makes making changes even easier. So what I like to do is once I've created my sketch, block the image in and then continually work all the way through to the fine details. And remember the more detail you add, the more realistic the image will appear. Digital is great for photorealism because adding fine detail is just so easy. The other advantage to working digitally is that when adding detail, you can zoom in on the image with the click of your mouse. Changing the size of your workspace is a huge advantage. It makes viewing your painting quick and easy. And you'll start to notice that the more I paint, the heavier my brush will get. This approach will make it less likely to make mistakes. And always remember, don't get caught up in the fine details. Always view your work from a distance. Now, sharks are torpedo-like objects. So think of them as a cylindrical shape. Find a cylindrical object and take note of how the light affects it. There's no right or wrong when painting, so take your time and have fun. What I'll normally do is add more and more detail and then start to break up the shape.
What you'll also notice is that I go from black to white, white to black. If I do something and I feel like it works, then basically I'll continue using that method. If it doesn't work, then find something that does. With every pass of detail I do on this image, it'll start to look more and more lifelike. And of course, it's always a great idea to study what you're painting. I looked at plenty of photos and videos of sharks until I got a good feel about how I wanted to paint my subject. But at the end of the day, it's really just all about shapes and light and shade. Once you start adding the finer details, then the painting really starts to become fun because the image you're creating is beginning to look alive. And the final overall touches are just to make sure that my shark looks like it belongs with the background and that all the light and darks match. And there you have it! I guess you could call this a great white shark portrait. And I can tell you that painting this took me an hour and 20 minutes. Not too bad at all. I'm artist Wayne Dowson and thanks for watching everyone.